What is going on guys? What is going on? Welcome back to another episode of Wrestling with Conversation guys. Welcome back to another video. Welcome back to another episode. Now before we begin, please guys be sure to go ahead and hit them thumbs up. Subscribe if you are new to the channel. Hit the bell for post notification so you can always be notified whether there's me doing a live review, whether there's me doing an episode of Wrestling with Conversation, whether it is a reaction video or whatever it is guys be sure to hit the thumbs up comment if you agree or disagree so it looks like i already botched but let's just get into it guys so um, we got a lot to talk about uh we got a lot to talk about now if you guys was with me last night when we was doing a monday night live review a monday night raw live review um we was trying to uh look for the uh in in uh, anticipate okay we was looking for that really live match that we was really anticipating about. I don't know if I'm saying that word wrong, but we're going to get into it. Okay, so basically, I was doing a live review last night for Monday Night Raw, and we all was waiting on that nail biter match, Ginger Mahal versus Seth Rollins for the World Heavyweight Champion. Unfortunately, Seth Rollins, he did win the World Heavyweight Champion, right? Again, with Damian Priest coming out there to tease him cashing it in. But instead of him cashing it in, he just, just acting goofy, you know? And I feel like if you want to do something like that, at least, you know, just, uh, hold on, guys. I, I want you guys to see my World Heavyweight Champion. So it's not going, it's not going to show up. Yeah, so if you're going to, um, I'm trying to show my world champion. Okay, I'm just going to put it on. <laughs> yeah, we're just going to put it on just for right now. So if you're going to, you know, have Damian Priest come out there every day and look stupid, then it needs to be for a reason, you know. The fact that he comes out there every time and it just, he's, he's out there to look stupid, you know. But anyway, guys, um, let's get into it, man. Uh, we're going to actually talk about Seth Rollins because that's the first thing we actually were just speaking about in this video. Before we begin, we also got some more injuries in NST. We have a WWE NS star, uh, NST superstar. She is currently injured from doing a house show. We also have some major Royal Rumble plans for a certain particular superstar. Um, we also have another WWE champion. He's going to be missing two PLEs, major, major pay-per-views. And then we're going to talk about Dolph Ziggler joining Impact Wrestling. I mean, can we really... I just want to say... I just want to say how much I am proud of Dolph Ziggler from, you know, taking a chance on himself. Now, I feel like 40 years old is not really a lot of chance, but there is superstars that's in their 40s, you know, out there being the best they can be, out there striving, out there being world champions. So, I'm not going to give him the benefit of the doubt because I know um, that he can do more, you know. Um... I feel like Dom Ziggler has a lot to do, and he's gonna he's gonna he's gonna start making Larry Bird winning numbers. He's gonna start making Larry Bird numbers. So I will be on the lookout for Dom Ziggler. I believe he had his match on Tuesday, or was that Thursday, or this upcoming Thursday? One of those days, he's supposed to be making his debut match. Um, Corey J. That is the one that I know I spoiled it a little early. I'm still getting a little used to this. But Corey J is the one that got injured on NST. We're going to talk about um, this WWE Undisputed Champion, Roman Reigns, missing two major PLEs pay-per-view right before, I believe one is before Royal Rumble, and I believe the other one is after Royal Rumble, if I'm not mistaken, or is this after WrestleMania. Okay, and then we have a lot to talk about. So let's go ahead and talk about Seth Rollins, okay? Now, 
Before I continue, I do want to let you guys know that I am a fan of Seth Rollins. I've always been a fan of Seth Rollins ever since he joined the authority. Ever since he turned heel and turned on the shield, that is when I became a Seth Rollins fan. Believe it or not, I wasn't really so keen on it. Well, actually... I liked the Seth Rollins when he was in his Shield days, when the beginning of his Shield days. But I was more of a Bray Wyatt fan. I was more of the Wyatt family uh, fan. I was more, uh, guys, excuse me, I got some in my eyes. Uh, okay, yeah, I was more of the Wyatt family fan than I was more of a Shield. And speaking of the Wyatt family and the Shield, they had one of the best six man tag team rivalries I ever seen in my entire life that I started watching the WWE. I'm telling you guys right now that I always been a fan of the Wyatt family and the Shield, you know? And I just feel like, you know, it's it, it's 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 a lot, you know? Um but anyway guys, um Let's talk about Seth Rollins. It's apparently that Seth Rollins has a major injury, and that's if you seen my if you seen my thumbnail, I had came up with a plan. I actually came up with a plan, and this plan is not only came up for me. I see a lot of people talking about it in the IWC, and it goes back to 2016. When Roman Reigns had to defend his WWE World Heavyweight Champion in the Royal Rumble. Now, can history repeat itself? Can we get the Bacon World Heavyweight Championship added to the Royal Rumble? Whoever wins the Royal Rumble will become the new World Heavyweight Champion. Now, we can't go all the way in just yet because we don't know how serious this injury that Seth Rollins has. Now, it is talks that he is getting an MAR, he is getting an MRI on his leg. But it could be serious because I know that my power cut off, but I went back and watched the match with Seth Rollins and Ginger Mahal. And the fact is, they kind of teased us when he hit that finisher and Seth Rollins kicked out. But if you also notice, that Seth Rollins and Ginger Mahal, when they was wrestling, Ginger Mahal, Ginger Mahal did not work on Seth Rollins' left leg. He was trying to avoid that left leg because I'm pretty sure that Seth said, hey, this leg is hurt. We're going to continue the match, but this leg is hurt. We can't stop the match because all these people are here to see this match. So it's like... What a bad timing for Seth Rollins. What a bad timing for Seth Rollins. Even though he's one of my favorite superstars, I support him in everything he do. But him being the world heavyweight champion this entire time, I mean this entire time, I'm just going to be honest, it was not doing anything for me. I mean, a lot of people going to be so quick to jump on me and say, well, what about Roman Reigns? What about Roman Reigns? At least several other shows, huh? Well, I never said that Roman Reigns, Tyler Reigns was doing something for me as well. Roman Reigns, Tyler Reigns is not doing nothing for me as well. That bloodline number one storyline was one of the biggest storylines that we ever can have. After that, um... After that, it just wasn't nothing else. Because Bloodline number two, it was mm, it was okay. You know, with Sami Zayn there, I feel, I feel like it was okay. Uh, but as we get far to Seth Rollins, it's like, it's nothing. All you hear when you see that man in the World Heavyweight Champ is, oh, oh, oh. Whoa, whoa, like, this isn't choir, this isn't choir, if you want to sing, go sing, you know, <laughs> um, and I really dislike that song, man, I really dislike Seth Rollins' song, if I'm just going to be honest with you, um, but as far as Seth Rollins, I do want to send prayers to him, because I feel like nobody deserves to be injured, nobody deserves to go through this, especially around WrestleMania season, but I wish all prayers to him, all speedy recovery to him, um, as far as him and the World Heavyweight Champion, if he do has to vacate the World Heavyweight Champion, 
Uh, or maybe he's injured and maybe they just won't have him wrestle into WrestleMania. But I don't know how you're going to pull that off because you telling me you're going to miss the Royal Rumble. You're going to miss Elimination Chamber. There's no pay-per-view in March. So that's a whole nother month you have to build up without the World Heavyweight Champion. And then we straight into WrestleMania in April. So it's like, I get that you don't want to change hands. Before WrestleMania, because it makes the champion look a little less prestige -ish. But he going to have to vacate the World Heavyweight Champion. Now, speaking of the vacated World Heavyweight Champion in the Royal Rumble, who should win the Royal Rumble? There's only one person. There's only one man. There's only one guy that should win the World Heavyweight Champion. Now, me personally... I don't know if that's how he wants to win the World Heavyweight Champion. I think he wants to win the World Heavyweight Champion being in the main event of WrestleMania. And that main is... See, I, I tried to do his intro song, so I kind of botched it a little bit, but it's okay. CM Punk, the man, the best in the world, coach of personality. CM Punk should be the man to be the World Heavyweight Champion, winning the Royal Rumble. Then, who do he face at WrestleMania? Because we know a tear, a tear ACL is 6 to 12 months, 6 to 9 months. WrestleMania is only like in 2 months. WrestleMania is legit in three months, I believe. Yes, three months. So the fact that we got to sit here and Seth Rollins hurt, now we got to come up with a whole nother situation because we got to come up with a whole nother feud. Now, the fact is, I seen somebody say, what, what about Cody Rhodes versus Drew McIntyre versus... CM Punk for the World Heavyweight Champion in a triple threat match. And I was like, huh? I mean, is that, is that, is that the route we're going to have to go? Because if that's the route we have to go, then we got to start all over. Now, I like the fact that Drew McIntyre comes out and he don't stay in a bed. He comes down and speak his mind. I don't like you. We got the same story. I don't like you, but we got the same story. Stop faking for these fans. Be yourself. You see how I came and be myself? Be yourself. And then they put him in this whole situation backstage where he has to go against Damian Priest next week. Damian Priest in a judgment day supposed to be one of the biggest heel fashions on Monday Night Raw. You can't have Drew McIntyre be a heel. You can't have him be this jerk. You can't have him go out there and confront faces, baby faces, all just for him to only wrestle heels. Heels that do not need to be losing, by the way. Major heels that does not need to be losing. Drew McIntyre needs to stay a, a heel. And he needs to stop being a baby face. Stop trying to put a tweener on Drew McIntyre. Drew McIntyre works best as a heel. Forget all of the baby face smile. Forget about that giant sword he carries around him. He doesn't need it. Let him be a heel. Let him do what he do best is that go out there and tell people how it is. Um, but as far as that, I don't know who CM Punch your face. I really don't want to see Cody Rhodes versus Seth Rollins for the World Heavyweight Champion. That's just me. Cody Rhodes and CM Punk. CM Punk calls out Cody Rhodes face-to-face -face next week. Or Cody Rhodes calls out CM Punk. It's one of those. Now, I see where they going with this. I feel like the reason they doing this is because... They kind of like, oh, snap, is Seth Rollins injured? I don't know if this happened before Seth Rollins got injured or after Seth Rollins got injured. But the fact remains that CM Punk and, Seth and Cody Rhodes for the World Heavyweight Champion is something I do not want to see. Because who wins? 
You can't have uh, CM Punk be World Heavyweight Champion for at least three months and then drop it to Drew because he didn't win it the right way. He didn't win in front of a crowd. You still became a two-time WWE Champion. Life is not fair, Drew McIntyre. Life is not fair. But I guarantee you, you is doing better than half of the people out there in this life. I know it's a storyline, but please, Drew, like Cody says, stop complaining. You still, I'm still a fan of you, Drew. I'm still a fan of you, but stop complaining. So as far as CM Punk winning the World Heavyweight Champion at the Royal Rumble in a Royal Rumble match, um, as far as him facing somebody, I honestly don't know who he should face. I'm, I honestly don't know. It could be Drew, but Drew don't need to be losing. So, when CM Punk wins the Royal Rumble and becomes the World Heavyweight Champion, if Seth Rollins injured, then that's up to them. Because I'm thinking long term, and I just don't know who else has a feud with CM Punk. Cody Rhodes? Jey Uso? Now, somebody said, what if Gunter... Wins the world, wins the Royal Rumble, and become World Heavyweight Champion. That could be the case, but what does that put CM Punk? Cause ain't no way, ain't no way in H E double L's that Gunter is losing to CM Punk. That CM Punk is gonna put Gunter on his shoulders and hit the GTS. I'm just gonna keep it real. So now I'm thinking about it. If Gunter wins the World Heavyweight Champion. Then that leads to this man and this man only, Brock Lesnar. Brock Lesnar versus Gunter for the World Heavyweight Champion. So what does that do with the Intercontinental Champion? It's so many factors, so many decisions, so many ideas that we don't know what to do. I still stick with my opinion that CM Punk should win the World Heavyweight Champion. Gunter, he faces Brock for the Intercontinental Champion. Now, I realize why they haven't really did much with Gunter last night on Monday Night Raw. Why they haven't really done much with Gunter. All the spotlight was on Louise Casey and Kobe Kingston and Xavier Woods. So, it's like, is they saving him for Brock Lesnar? And speaking of Brock Lesnar, Brock Lesnar is supposed to be making his return at the Royal Rumble. We know that because he shows up every Royal Rumble. It's not a surprise, but I'm not saying it's not a bad thing. It's absolutely a good thing because who doesn't want Brock Lesnar? But Brock Lesnar has to be in a good feud because at this point, Brock Lesnar showing up every now and then is kind of tiring, but at least they're not overusing him like they used to. So, Brock Lesnar versus Gunter for the Intercontinental Champion. That's major plans. It's rumors that Brock Lesnar's supposed to show up at the Royal Rumble. I won't even say it's rumors. It's true. He's going to show up at the Royal Rumble or maybe before the Royal Rumble. And maybe he just attacks Gunter because he feels like it and challenges him for the Intercontinental Champion. He could come out there and say, I want to do something I have never done. And that's be Intercontinental Champion. And I would take you out, Gunter, for the Intercontinental Champion. And Gunter retains the Intercontinental Champion. Only until they figure out what they want to do. Because Gunter, he's ready for a World Heavyweight Championship match. He's ready for it. But now that we got CM Punk in the picture, I guess Gunter going to have to wait just a little longer. Because I think CM Punk only wants the main event WrestleMania. He only wants the main event WrestleMania. So I doubt he cares how long he keeps the World Heavyweight Champion. Maybe he keeps the World Heavyweight Champion to SummerSlam because they hardly putting him on TV as it is. He's legit a part-timer. So I don't know what it's going to be. Um, that's the whole thing I got to say about Gunter. Brock Lesnar, CM Punk, Seth Rollins, the Royal Rumble. That is one whole big circle. And we don't really know what to say about it. We just don't. I honestly don't know what to say about it. 
Um, as far as the elimination chamber, um, I do want to talk about the elimination chamber, but before I talk about the elimination chamber, um, oh, yeah, also, um, speaking of Gunter, okay, so if Gunter and, um, and Brock Lesnar, if they supposed to face each other for the Intercontinental Champion, then does that mean that Gunter would not be defending his Intercontinental Champion at the Elimination Chamber? Because that's a lot to talk about. We just don't know. It's a lot. I know I'm supposed to keep one topic on one topic, but it's so much. They all surrounding each other. They all connect to each other, you know? They all connect to each other. So, with that being done and said, I honestly don't know what to say. Um, Corey J. Let's talk about Corey J. Corey J just came from an injury, and she got some work done. All just for her to tear her ACL up. Now, a lot of people are wondering why is the woman so NST getting hurt? Why is people on NST getting hurt? Why is the trainers not doing something? Why is the trainers not watching it? We can, of course, say here, well, if they was hurting, they would just walk it off, you know, keep resting because they don't want to sit on the sidelines. Well, we could say that, but there's no way you walking on a tear ACL, a tail, um, um, anything, you know, anything involving your legs, your knee, anything. There's no way you walking on there. So, honestly, all I have to say about Cora J, that absolutely sucks. Um, I believe she just turned 23, by the way, guys. And she's only young, but the fact that she's getting injured young like this, I don't want to say maybe she's injury prone, because I feel like this is the second time she got injured. Um, it can't not be injury prone. It can't. I want to say it's 50% the trainers. And it's 50% the machines. Because the trainers can only do so much to help somebody. The trainers can only do so much to approve the machines. On the other hand, I feel like the gym equipment, everything is changing. Everything is improving. Everything is just not... Everything is just changing, you know? It's like everything you do on the gym is changing. Everything you got to do, you got to watch out for it. Um, I do want to send prayers to Corey J. Hopefully everything goes well for her. I know it sucks, but she's just going to have to go through this breakthrough and just keep on going. That's all we have to say. Just keep on going. Um, a lot of people will probably be like, well, you're not in her position. You don't know that she want to keep going and stuff like that. Of course I'm not in her position. Of course I'm not. I, I would not want to be in her position. I don't wish anybody to be in her position at that moment, you know, I don't even wish her to be in that position, but you gotta understand, you know, stuff happens for a reason, and hopefully, you know, she doesn't let that injury define who she is, she doesn't let that injury stop her from being the next, um, breakout woman superstar on the WWE, so I just wish her, her I wish her all wells and wishes, and hopefully everything goes good for her, um, they definitely got to check out the trainers. They definitely got to check out the PC and see what's going on with NST. Because Seth Rollins just now getting injured. It's a bad case of injuries at the WWE currently right now. Um, Before we get out of here, guys, I do want to say um, I did already mention Dolph Ziggler. Um, I think I mentioned him in the beginning, so I will not talk about him again. The last thing I want to talk about before I get out of here is Romy Reigns. Roman Reigns is supposed to be missing two major PLE slash pay-per-view, premium live events, pay-per-views. And I feel like a lot of people are getting upset about this. And you know what? I absolutely don't blame them at all because Roman Reigns is one is your biggest champion. He is your main champion. The world heavyweight champion is currently secondary champion. But the fact that Roman Reigns is missing all of these pay-per-views, He's missing all of these pay-per-views. And the two main pay-per-views he's going to be missing is Batlash in France. Elimination Chamber in Australia. So the fact that Romy Reigns won't be showing up to Elimination Chamber, they had to get CM Punk to be on Elimination Chamber. Who would CM Punk fight at the Elimination Chamber? Because you can't just have to go out there and say... 
CM Punk, CM Punk, CM Punk, CM Punk, CM Punk, CM Punk. Cult of personality, cult of personality. What do you see in my eyes? You know, like you just can't have him go out there and have the crowd sing his, uh, chant his name, then play his theme song and go out there and say, I am the Royal Rumble winner. You know, you can't. Now, if he wins the World Heavyweight Champion at the Royal Rumble, then I might let it slide. But instead of just CM Punk, CM Punk, CM Punk, you know, have a match. So it's like if he do win the World Heavyweight Championship at the Royal Rumble, um, I absolutely just would hope, you know, they carry this on to WrestleMania because they've been building up Seth Rollins. They have been building up um, CM Punk. You know, they Robbie is very intense. It's real life. It's pro wrestling. It's storyline. It's everything. And all for Seth Rollins to get injured. That sucks. And then they got to start all over from scratch. Um, so they just, throwing, they just throwing anything on the wall to see what sticks. Um, but as far as Roman Reigns missing the Elimination Chamber, it looks like we're going to maybe have another number one contender match for the WWE Undisputed Heavyweight, the, uh, the WWE Universal Heavyweight Undisputed Champion. The WWE Undisputed, un, the WWE Universal Undisputed Heavyweight Champion, however you say it. <laughs> now, Batlash, I feel like, Batlash, he can probably miss that because it's really not a big pay-per-view. They're just going to be international in France. He can really miss that, but the fact is, the people in France are going to be like, we want Roman Reigns. We want, we didn't, we didn't sign this deal for Roman Reigns not to show. They can easily advertise Roman Reigns because if you guys don't remember last year, he didn't show up at the Money in the Bank. He didn't show up at Batlash. He didn't show up at legit half of the calendar year. For last year, WWE PLE slash pay-per-views. And the fact that it's advertised, he's only advertised for the Royal Rumble. He's only advertised for WrestleMania. Maybe the next Saudi show in SummerSlam. That's if he even is the champion by then. If they, it can always subject to change. Match cards subject to change. And I feel like the Limitless Chamber is very a big pay-per-view that he needs to be at. But if he didn't show up last year... At Limitless Chamber, what makes you think he gonna show up at this year's Limitless Chamber? Now I get a lot of people saying, but why is he champion? It's all about that contract he signed. A lot of people don't know or don't really remember that he have health issues, you know. So maybe that plays a big major part in his contract that he doesn't want to risk anything, or maybe he can't wrestle as much as he wants to, or maybe wrestles as much as he can because I feel like. He probably don't give two props if he don't wrestle, as long as he can be presented as a champion. But I'm not saying he's taking his health issue, his health issue as an advantage, because at the end of the day, we don't really know what's going on behind the scenes. That's probably why they want to put Roman Reigns to break this world record, because they want to give him, you know, they want to give him back what he has given for them. So. Yeah, um, unfortunately, Roman Reigns versus The Rock at Limitless Chamber would not be happening, and it should not be happening. So, guys, if you enjoyed this video, if you agree or disagree, let me know down below in the comment section. Hit that bell post for the notification. Let me know what you guys think about all the topics I'm talking about. Do you think the World Heavyweight Championship at the Royal Rumble is a good idea? Do you think Corey J and um, the NST trainers, all of them needs to be figuring out what's going on? Let me know what you guys think about that whole situation. Roman Reigns missing two major PLEs slash pay-per-views. Dolph Ziggler is wrestling in TNA. Gunter versus Brock Lesnar for the Intercontinental Champion. Or is it for the World Heavyweight Champion? The car can always change. The plans can always change. Let me know what you guys think about this. Anyway, guys, I will see you tonight for NST Live. So be sure to be, stay tuned for that. And, yeah, I'll see you guys tonight. Be sure to join the live stream. And, um, yeah, thanks for the support. And I'll see you guys next time.